All right, we're going to do problem nine from chapter one of Rosen Lynch's Introduction to Analysis. So uh, there are kind of three questions here. So how many subsets are there of the set one, two, all the way to n? And the answer to this is going to be um, two to the n. And up, oh, let me focus the camera. And the entire idea here is uh, for each element, Uh, we have two. We have two choices. We include it or exclude it, and uh, that gives a that. And, and since there are n elements, this gives us two to the n. I mean, I I if you want, you can go by. Uh, Okay, maybe I'll do that. Maybe a nicer way you could do induction. So the base case would be like the set is one. Then you only have two sets, the empty set and one. And the, the induction hypothesis is that there are uh, that there are uh, two to the n minus one uh, subsets of the set one to n minus one. And then the induction step would be something along the lines of, if I if I have a uh, given a subset, there are two cases, namely uh, n is an element of the subset, or n is not an element of the subset, and in in each subs case, there are two to the n minus one cases n minus one sets uh, by the induction hypothesis just because you're either including n or excluding n and then you're just looking at the previous n minus one and we by the induction hypothesis there's two to the n minus one different ways of doing that and so this tells you that there have to be two to the n such subsets so that's kind of maybe a little more formal way to do it uh, how many maps of this set into itself so uh, for, for this one, there's going to be, well, the, the idea is for every element 1, 2, all the way to n, we need to assign an element 1, 2, all the way to the n. So there's going to be n to the n such maps. Uh, the idea is for each n uh, inputs, you have n possible outputs. So... Uh, yeah, so, so one, you have n choices to send it anywhere you want. Two, you have n choices to send it where you anywhere you want, and so on. So there's going to be n to the n such maps. And the last case is how many maps of this set onto itself. Well, so, so since we have a set of n elements, since it's onto, it's also going to be uh, injected. So we're talking about bijections here. And here it's going to be n factorial, which is n times n minus 1 all the way to 3 times 2 times 1. And th the idea of how you get that there's this many maps into itself, well, the idea is, uh, since you're going to be a bijection, if you look at 1, 1 has n options for where it can go. And then if you look at 2, well, 2 is going to have n minus 1 options because it can't go where 1 goes because then it won't be um, injected. And then, uh, basically, n will have one option. And so that gives you uh, n factorial different maps of the set into itself. So that's how you do this problem. Thanks for watching.